what it, what is it, sake? Yeah. All the sake you can drink. They literally handed me it. What is going on, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from JFK Airport in New York City. And today, we're starting the Japan trip one month in Japan, and I'm flying with ANA, All Nippon Airways, rated one of the best airlines in the entire world. We've got a 14-hour flight, so I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process, and we'll see if it deserves the rating that it has as one of the best airlines in the world. I was hoping that nobody would be sitting next to me for the flight, but I've been informed that there will be somebody in the middle seat, so I'm hoping it's not too awkward to vlog in the middle of a flight, especially with a lot of Japanese passengers who I know are super polite, so I'm gonna try to keep my voice down as much as I can. I am absolutely shocked that I made it through security with four cameras, a Kindle, and a laptop without being hassled all that much, so. That was the hardest part, I think, of the trip, and now I am walking towards gate number five where the flight board's in about an hour. So it turns out uh, gate number five was so busy that I had to move somewhere else because I literally could not find a seat by ANA's departure. I think his flight is gonna be not completely full because a lot of people realize that flying to Haneda Airport over Narita puts you much closer to the city, which is why I'm flying there. And I used uh, 47,500 ANA points, which I transferred from American Express in about $170. So I thought that was an absolutely incredible redemption. But now I'm going to show you some essential items that I always travel with uh, on a long haul flight. This is a first for me. Check out these pants, guys. Wearing sweatpants for a 14-hour flight. I might not be the most fashionable guy on the plane, but I will be the most comfortable. Next up, eye mask. Very important. Should be dark, but you know I don't control the lighting on the plane. Good headphones. I never trust the airlines to have better headphones than I would possibly have because 14 hours, I'm gonna be probably watching a lot of movies. And the uh, last item which I haven't dug out of my bag yet is a Kindle because I can't watch movies the entire flight. Interesting note, there are no groups in economy class, so everybody just boards at the same time. It's about 10 minutes to boarding starts and there's maybe 20 people in line right now. Hi, how are you? How are you today? Good, how are you? Um, thank you. Thank you. Twelve hours, forty-four minutes. Uh, it was supposed to be fourteen hours, so I think we're going to be a little bit faster than expected. Outlets, very, very useful right here. Loving this. Got 65 channels of movies. This is gonna keep me occupied as long as I want. What is, what is it, sake? Yeah. All the sake you can drink. They literally handed me it. <laughs> yeah, mattress or dress. Can we keep this? Keep it no. for the day. <laughs> we are off to an amazing start. They had four different Japanese beers. The flight attendant told me to go with Suntory. She said I could try them all throughout the uh, duration of the flight. Um, let me show yours. The Sapporo. Yeah, the Sapporo. <laughs> That's a classic. And, classic. And a back of sake. <laughs> and sake. Yeah, exactly. So yes, Japanese beer, sake, wine, all available at your disposal. This is the first.
first time I've actually seen a menu in coach. It's like a business class type of thing, very cool. We do have chopsticks, that is very cool. <laughs> first time I've ever had chopsticks on a flight. What? That beef's actually not bad. Definitely the best coach beef I've ever had before. Not bad at all. Smoked salmon was excellent, by the way. I just tried it. This may be the best coach meal I've ever had. Like, I, I can't even think of anything that is even close, honestly. I'm not saying it's first class level, but for coach, a and A done a great job. It makes you question, what are they eating in first class, exactly? Must be really, what really are good they eating up there. <laughs> I think that the customer service here has been tremendous. Every flight attendant has a big smile. Uh, anything you need, they are happy to bring it over. And they're even talking to me, asking me, uh, you know, what I'm doing in Japan. They saw my camera. They gave me something to film. It's been a, a really great and uh, surprisingly good experience so far. I never did give a proper tour of the bathroom. This is pretty cool. Italian blood orange face and body lotion. Who would have thought? All right, members of the barrio, we are in Japan and I have a lot of energy for someone who has not slept uh, for the entire 13 hours of the flight. That was very nice of the crew to give me that card. They didn't know I was filming for YouTube, really. They didn't pay me to make this video, but man, what a flight. I've got a lot to say. All right, members of the barrio, some final thoughts on my a and flight. I thought the customer service was absolutely excellent. The food was pretty good, considering it was in coach. In fact, excellent, considering uh, that it was coach. The only thing I didn't like was that the seat did not recline backwards. I didn't like that whole sliding forward in your seat thing. It really uh, didn't help me get much sleep. But we've got an entire month in Japan coming up, so make sure you've got notifications turned on. All of my Japan videos are going to be going my Japan playlist. We've got so much planned, it's gonna be awesome. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.